On this episode, Kellen Rowe in Kansas City and Kellen's Nigu crew. What's up everyone? I am here with Kellen Rowe, one of our Nigu All-Stars and also a forward for Sporting Kansas City. And um, we made it to Kansas City this week to come and spread joy. And yesterday, Kellen came in the hospital, yep. um, Children's Mercy Hospital, and we got to deliver some joy jars. So let's start with that. How was delivering joy jars yesterday? It was great. It was our first time doing it in Kansas City. We had been in New England before, um, but I think this one was really special. It was. It was very special. We handed out about um, 30 of Jesse's joy jars um, here locally in Kansas City. And um, what was really cool about it is uh, Kellen actually just recently got traded mm -hmm. from his team in Boston, where we first got to know Kellen, um, to now he's in Kansas City. And one of the very important things that he wanted to make sure he continued moving from Boston to Kansas City was getting to continue to spread joy to these kids so Absolutely. tell everyone a little bit about that journey of kind of what we did in New England and then um, what we're continuing to do here we did a lot, a lot in New England we did um, well, we visited multiple hospitals mm -hmm. in Boston area mm -hmm. um, with Boston Children's uh, Mass General we yeah. visited so many kids I mean uh, countless honestly Absolutely. yeah um, countless kids living joy jars um, give, give you just words of encouragement mm -hmm. and things of that sort and you and I then started uh, Kellen's Nigo Crew, yeah. which was really special, um, in which we were able to get patients uh, both in remission, in, in struggling times, going through surgery, uh, as well as a few that were cancer free, yeah. which was really special Got as well. To celebrate celebrate. That one, yeah. yeah, it was a great celebration. Um, they were able to come to the games, get to see us firsthand, all my teammates, myself. Uh, watched from a box seat and then afterwards be cheered on by the fans, which is really a, a special moment that yeah. it's so hard to just explain. Totally, it's very it's chilling to, see, right? to get to see that. Yeah. But Kellen got to host about 30 kids um, mm -hmm. over the past couple years that he was in New England. But then the trade happened, yeah. um, and so is sports, professional sports. You can't, you know, it, we were just excited. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I think what's cool about um, our Nigu All Stars is that the, the their choice to encourage kids um, has nothing to do with the organization they play for or the team that they're on. It really is the heart that they have to continue to encourage kids. So um, actually on the press release that happened right after um, he got traded, um, there was a whole section that was about Kellen's charitable work in New England and how he was excited to carry that to Kansas yeah. City. So um, it looks a little bit different now that you're in Kansas City, but how are you able to continue to encourage kids um, on field at Children's Mercy Park? Well, what's so great about Kansas City and with sporting the team I play for now is that they had a system put in place already with the Victory Project that works with Children's Mercy Hospital yep. uh, to bring kids to the game, to give them that similar uh, feel that they are supported through, yeah. through the, not just the team and, and through their family, but through the fans as well. They're part of that uh, sporting culture. So mm -hmm. that's really cool to see. Uh, and then after the game, we get a special moment uh, where we can give them a Nigu jersey yeah. that is now a sporting jersey, very cool. um, which is so cool. And we get to spe spend a little special moment that they are then uh, number 11 as long as, uh, as well with me. Uh, and they're part of my team as well. Absolutely, and so it's always been cool. Um, you can actually see right over my shoulder, there's a, a painting, and this picture, this painting is um, a very special moment yes. to Kellen. It was actually the first child that he ever hosted at one of his games, um, and so, I think when he's mentioning the number 11 on the back of their jersey, it, it really means a ton to him to kind of have this arm in arm, hand in hand moment that he got to share with uh, David at Gillette Stadium. Um, and now he gets to have um, an, uh, an 11 jersey moment here in Kansas City. And what's yeah. that like? Like that, that moment, um, not many people know that David actually showed up to the uh, event and to the game with his own road jersey that he had, him and his mom had made. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, had to, we were able to give him one as well. But uh, I thought it was so cool that he just wanted to be supportive of myself, even though I was supposed to be there supporting him. Um, he wanted to give back as well. So I, I found that so great in that moment. Every time I give that jersey to a kid, um, I do remember David coming through and uh, see the excitement on his eyes. Yeah, for sure. Well, we wanted to just hop on here since we got to be in Kansas City today. We're going to Kellen's game later tonight, um, and uh, we're excited to have Kellen on our team. Um, thank you for everything that you do. Um, we know that not everyone gets to share in those special moments. Many of the fans get to share in those special yeah. moments you help create for kids fighting cancer, but I'm just excited that they all get to kind of hear about what you're doing um, out here in Kansas City, and they're excited to follow your journey too. So. That's fun stuff. Thanks, man. We really, we are so grateful for you. All right, guys, 
awesome episode with Kellen here in Kansas City. Um, we are going to tune out, but make sure you comment, like, subscribe below um, if you want to hear more about all the stuff that New Nation is doing all around the country. You guys rock.